Big Ken says, yeah, Grant, scale one to 10 on the 49ers really wanting to make a trade for Adams happen. I think they, well, from what I've heard, they really want to make uh, a trade with Adams happen. I've heard that they've actually been going around to players asking them to take modest pay cuts so they can fit Adams into their pay. That's what I heard. I think I've heard that they're interested, that uh, they've reached out to the Jets. They've reached out to their own players. Now the Jets don't want to make this trade. They're in no rush, but eventually there is a trade deadline. That's the, that's the deadline. It's going to be in what? Late October? It's the Jets' best player. They don't want to give him up for nothing now, but ultimately I think they're going to have to trade him for sort of what the Dolphins traded Mika Fitzpatrick for last year, which was like a first plus. Not a first and a second, not a first and a third. It was like a first and a fifth and a sixth the following year for a first and a fourth and a fifth, something like that. It was like a eh, first and change. I think that's what's going to be. And the reason I just posted a, a video and an article saying I think it's going to be after week two because the Jets are going to drag their feet anyway. The deadline is going to be the natural impetus for the, a deal to get done. And week two, the Niners go to New Jersey to play the Jets. I hi- I mean, it's already a bad enough look for, for the Jets that their best player is forcing his way off the team and they're going to have to trade him for less than he's worth. That's a bad look. Makes you look like a rinky-dink franchise. But to trade him and then face him the second week of the season while the wound is still fresh and – Fans are still mad at ownership for getting rid of their favorite player for 75 cents on the dollar because they weren't good enough to appease him. They're not going to be happy to see him come to the to the uh, MetLife Stadium week two. They'll be mad at the team in the front office, and I don't think any team wants to bring that on themselves. So I think they'll wait until after week two, and then at that point, the Niners will and should be in the driver's seat. They have all the the, the, the draft picks the Jets would need. The Jets are probably going to ask for a first and a second. The Niners can probably counter with a first and a fourth in 2021 or a first in Raheem Mostert or a first in Dante Pettis, something like that, some kind of poo-poo platter of extras, but not a first and a second. Dolphins didn't get that from Minka Fitzpatrick, but I do believe the Niners are are interested and uh, gauging other teams' interest and making sure that they're in play. And I think they're ultimately going to get them. I think it's going to be the move that puts them over the top and they're uh, trying to get back to the Super Bowl. I don't think they just take for granted. I don't think they believe that they're clearing away the best team in the league. They might be the best team in the league, but they lost to the Chiefs by 11. I think adding an all-pro DB would be exactly what they need to take on the best passing team in the league. Adam's worth more than Minka. Why? How? And what? No, I don't. No, I disagree. They're both all-pro safeties. Minka was on the Dolphins, was not the uh Minka was not the player Adams was. Okay, well, Minka, that's on that's on them though. I mean, Minka was a top 10 pick, wasn't he? A top 15 pick. He was great in college. They insisted on using him out of a, out of position, the Dolphins. They insisted on playing him at nickelback, even though he's a free safety. That's on them. I think a lot of teams around the league felt that Minka Fitzpatrick would play a lot better at free safety and had evaluated him at that position, uh, which is why the Steelers were so confident trading a first round pick for a guy to move to free safety. So maybe you're right, but I really believe that Minka and Jamal Adams, the two all pro free safeties are basically the same value and the Jets are going to have a tough time getting more than what the Dolphins got for Minka. I don't think the Niners should, should trade a first and a second for Jamal Adams. I don't think they have to. I don't think any team has to. When the guy requests a trade and he's got leverage and he's one of your best players, you end up losing the trade. 